Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video. If you guys don't know who I am, my name is Justin. I'm 24 years old, more formally known as Chow Codes, and I am a developer support engineer. Today, I wanted to do a video that I feel like I wanted to reflect on. I've been doing some work right now and kind of had a feeling that I wanted to go over how I landed the job that I have now as a self-taught developer. You hear and read all the stories on the people who've made it, you know, they taught themselves how to code in six months and then they made it as a engineer engineer so I wanted to reflect on that since I've done a video like that previously you guys can check out here of how I went from IT support to becoming a self-taught engineer and, and my path through that but now I want to reflect on the whole story of how I went from that self-taught developer to landing my first actual gig as an engineer so first things first though i don't know my hair is so long and really disgusting haven't shaved yet so we're actually gonna cut my hair first i cut my own hair i don't actually go to barbers since it's super easy to just cut my hair anyways so we're gonna go do that after that i'll share with you guys the whole story give you the rundown especially for the new people who've joined since i first started my youtube channel if you guys don't know the story i'll fill you guys in now so let's go cut my hair real quick All right, so I know that only those who like actually cut hair might care, but some of you guys might actually care. So these are like the tools that I use for cutting hair. I just figured that after I did this, might as well let you guys in on it, but I use the Oster Fast Feeds. Oster? Os Oster? Oster Fast Feeds? Oster Fast Feeds with the Andis uh, magnetic clippers. Right now I'm using a number three. I usually use a number two. The main clippers I'll use is a number two or a number three. Number one and a number zero. Dude, the door just opened. Yo, that's kind of creepy. I also use these Andis. I actually forget what these are called, but these are like, a, I use these to pretty much bald out my beard. And then I also use clippers from Andis as well for uh, cutting my beard as well as uh, detailing and any of the fine cuts that I need to do. So these are the tools that I use. I've been doing this for ever since I was in high school. So for those of you guys that actually care, those are the tools I use to cut my hair. What do we think, squad? Do we keep it like this? I mean, kind of fresh though. <laughs> Fine. We're gonna almost done cutting my hair. So let me finish it up and take a shower and then we'll get the story time. Okay, so cut my hair. Looks pretty good. I wanted to do a three on top, but it didn't look right and I don't think I did it correctly. So you live and you learn. It's trial and error really when I'm cutting my hair. So wanted to go for a new look, did not work. Went back to the old look and I'm not mad at it. So anyways, how I landed my first developer job as a self-taught developer. This is one of the most asked questions I think I get and I think it's a really cool story. Just because one, it's unique, it's my own and it's non-conventional. All the non-conventional stories that I've heard heard of and have seen people go through is super, super intriguing. And I think that it's awesome to see people attack it their own way and eventually make it in the space and in the job that we all want to be in. So for those of you guys who are new subscribers and who don't know me, I've given myself a brief introduction, but to give you some backstory, I did not go to school. I went, I dropped out of college very early on and never, I don't have a degree currently. I think I dropped out back in like 2017. I I want to say and from there I was pretty lost I didn't know what I wanted to do I was skipping school to play video games all the time I just I was not feeling motivated at all and I wanted to figure out what space I wanted to get into as a kid I really like tinkering with computers so I instantly thought okay IT IT is probably the way to go let me see what I can do there obviously not a lot of places would want to take someone who has no experience aside from fixing their own computers at home. So I thought what better way to try and get some experience than by going to a computer store. So for those in the Bay, you may know a computer store called Central Computers. I happened to just, you know, go to the Sunnyvale store and that's where I started. I got in there around 2018. I think it was January of 2018 is when I started at Central Computers. 
and for a whole half year I was doing sales only. I wasn't working on any computers. I was, you know, doing sales, I was helping the floor, cleaning, all that kind of stuff. And then eventually I talked and worked my way into the back where I was finally fixing computers, dealing with uh, walk-ins when people had problems, checking people in, checking people out, all that other stuff. And then eventually towards the end of the year, I was actually working with our like business clients, going on site, fixing things, going to server rooms, you know, installing everything in a server rack. It was super, super cool. I was getting legitimate experience. And then fast forward into around February or March of 2019, I was given an opportunity from a customer that we had in the store and he pretty much needed someone else that could take on a client of his. He was a contractor doing IT support as well. And I said, absolutely, I'll take it. After that brief talk with him, he brought me on and I was working IT support full time, better pay, more experience. Like it was a full on help desk job and it was beautiful. Like at the, at the beginning or at the time, I really, really enjoyed it. I was doing a lot of hardware fixes, a lot of software fixes, server maintenance, switching out hard drives and servers, networking problems, all that kind of stuff that you, if you work at a company, your typical IT would probably do. And then halfway through 2019, I found myself really, really struggling just because I wasn't happy. A lot of the things that I was doing was very, very repetitive. I didn't want to keep doing it. It was just, it wasn't stimulating for me and I wanted something more challenging. Halfway through that year, I started document, or I started teaching myself how to code. I always had interest in it. I dabbled in it when I was a kid and then just stopped. I would go in with spurts of learning how to code and then was like, ah, oh, this is too hard. I don't want to do this. But but then halfway through 2019, like I said, I would just wasn't happy and I need something more stimulating and code was that. It was super challenging for me and I really just needed to just discipline myself and be like, all right, coding is hard, but I think that's what I need, right? Like I just need to grind it out, move forward and just keep moving so that I could actually learn this and get into the space and eventually become a software engineer. So around then is when I started my Instagram and my YouTube and everything that you guys see now was all a culmination of that decision to learn and teach myself how to code. Then let's fast forward to around March or June-ish of 2020. Obviously this is past when COVID had initially hit. I lost my job with that IT support contracting company and I was still learning how to code. So I was like, okay, look, I'm not gonna go pick up another job. I am going to stick with this, stick with my Instagram, stick with my YouTube, because it's all starting to take off. Like I was making some money from it, but not much to live off of, but I was gonna make it work since I was still living with my parents. So through unemployment of 2020, I was consistently building things. I was consistently improving my skills and learning new things. You know, it was the HTML and CSS at first. And then through all of 2020, it was a heavy focus on React, React Native, building projects, and also on the social media side of things, boosting that up on Instagram and on YouTube, documenting my journey. Like if you go back in my videos, it's literally just me documenting what it is I've been learning, letting you guys in on some of the tips and tricks that I've I've learned across the way and just bringing you guys along my life to show the progress that has been unfolding through 2020. And then through all the networking and you know, the social media, I put out my portfolio. I put out the projects that I've done and a lot and some of the client stuff that I've done as well through freelancing. And sure enough, someone on Twitter, James, shout out to you. He reached out to me like right before a stream and was like, yo, check your Twitter DMs when you're done streaming. Um, I got something for you and I think you'll like it. I was like, cool. So, you know, at this point still had never had a full-time job. I was still eager to get into it. Like it had been over a year that I've been teaching myself how to code. And sure enough, he had a job opportunity and was like, look, I, I like what you're doing. I see that you have the potential and I really just want you to help you out. So, you know, here I'm putting your resume in, I'm putting your referral and you know, go through the interview process, nothing's guaranteed, and see what happens. And it was really, really awesome to finally get a foot in the door. And uh, at the time before the interview had been happening, I kept it on the low. I didn't want to jinx anything. I didn't want to overthink it. I wanted to stay very, very quiet about it. Just go through the motions, see what was gonna happen because I didn't want to be so disappointed that like, I was like, hey, look, everybody, I've got an opportunity coming. It's gonna be super, super sick. There's a really good chance. And then boom, out of nowhere, it doesn't happen. I didn't want that to occur. So I just kept quiet about it. But going through the interview process, it was awesome with this company. Like, it was it was super down to earth. The people were amazing. And I really, really saw a future with this team just because everyone was so nice. Everyone was super, super cool. And I, I just, I wanted this so bad. So I kept fighting for it, right? 
Like after the interview, I just prayed and I hoped and I was just waiting through the suspense. So then in February 19th of 2021, I the day after my birthday or pretty much on my birthday, my birthday is February 18th. I received an offer from that company and was finally put through in this position. And I'm working full time now in the as a developer support engineer and I couldn't be any happier. The team has been amazing. For those of you guys wondering, like I love my team 100%. Like, there's no doubt in my mind and that's not even sugarcoating it like I legitimately love my team everyone on there is amazing even the company itself the morals the principles that they have how they treat their employees and everyone I've interacted with so far has been awesome in their own special ways and I really do see a future here it's been awesome so far I really don't want to leave uh, I'm pretty sure I'm past the honeymoon phase at this point so what I'm saying now can is just like my true feelings for the company and the role that I'm in right now so to, to just recap like for for those of you who are self-taught as well and are looking to get into this realm and make it in the space, there's no shortage of engineers that that companies need. The demand is always gonna be there. For those of you guys who say that this space is saturated, like, no, this world is is built off of innovation and creation. And without developers, that wouldn't be possible. You know, it, it, don't get discouraged, just keep moving. There were definitely times in my journey, you know, through COVID, through 2020, where I was like, yo, am I doing what I wanna be doing? Is this gonna work? Am I wasting my time? But through those moments, I really had to just get out of my head and push through. It's easier said than done, right? But it's definitely something that I feel has paid off is, you know, me really just focusing on what it is I need to do on that day and what I need to focus on the next day and just keep doing that over and over and over again. And then finally, you know, my time came. Everyone's time comes sooner or later. It's all different. You you can always, you know, use my story, anyone else's story, Christian's story, you know, a really great friend of mine who's also a self-taught dev who came up, uh, you know, all of our stories are very unique to ourselves as individuals and very, very different. Yours is also going to be very different as well. And use ours as reference, but don't think that my story is going to be the end all be all or Chris Sean's is the end all be all. It is going to differ in terms of where you live, how you attack things, what your projects are. It, it really all comes down to how much you want this thing and how much work you're willing to, to put in. And you know, it's, it, it's all so satisfying at the very end. And I couldn't thank James enough. I can't thank you guys enough for, you know, being a part of this journey with me, following along and encouraging me as well. Hopefully I can actually do this same for you. I've gotten plenty of messages from people who just say like, yo, your journey is so motivational. Your story is motivational. That kind of stuff is really, really awesome. And to, to hear your guys' stories and comments or through DMs is, uh, this is what that's all for, is to see you guys and motivate you guys to, to follow in the footsteps and create your own journey for yourselves. Whether you're career switching or whether you're looking to get into a new realm out of college and you know, you took the wrong major, what Whatever it is your story is, I hope this was somewhat informational and motivational for you guys. But it is 5.11, I gotta get ready for the gym. So that being said, I am going to end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this little story time about my journey from being a self-taught developer to now being a full-time developer support engineer. If you guys have any questions or you, know, you wanna ask me anything, hit me down in the comment section below. I'd be happy to answer anything for you guys. But that being said, I I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.